Hey, Vint. You're okay? I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He is in hiding. Why? Since the dredge started appearing, anyone with a ship and half a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Boss guard is a fire keg waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor's paying the ravens to protect him against his own people? And keep the peace, well, so to speak. It's more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I, um, I promised him the Mender's protection in Arborang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Ormsa River all the way to the capital. Leaving another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, Wh what happens to the people living in Boasgard? It's the best I could do, Alette. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Bella will be here within the week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned. Is there an end to this? I have a roars in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan, what do we do about Bellowar? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. We need to do enough damage to stop his like regeneration -y, y stuff. Right. That's not going to happen, but in theory that's what we need to do. Right, Ivan. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Dredge are keeping the distance, but continue to gather. Are we going to have a big fight? I'm sure we are. Right. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Just feels like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. I shouldn't have used the renown to level people up. <laughs> oh well. What if we just leave on foot with what food? Mm. What about the ravens? They'll save their own hides and whoever is paying. They don't give two dams about the rest of us. We may even end up facing off against them depending on how this goes. Let's try and avoid that, shall we? First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for. So we'll have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. <sighs> what a mess. I'll do what I can. My accents are fa falling apart, aren't they? I've explained. I'm leading attacks with Ivan every time the dredge get too close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters and Val every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody's manning this wall. We could always use help. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks would likely take a full day. Um, if I... Ooh! I don't want to try and get rest because that's quite selfish. Right, uh, final source. We need supplies, but we've managed so far. So I think we'll put Krumra in charge of leading the warriors. Krum Krumra! You shout, calling around the war leader. This is your expertise. No. <clears throat> Sorry. This is your expertise. Are you willing? Krumra is more than happy to switch off leading the, switch off leading the charge, giving Ivor a break between fights. He spends the rest of the day showing you complex war strategies to reduce losses. Oh, I see. Yeah, each one's a different thing. Ivor points out the dredge along the wall. There's a lot of them, and they're getting braver, he says. We've lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help. There's nobody left to defend the walls. So, I think... I think it's probably we're losing people because of the way this is working, but we do... We'll look for some supplies. I checked around, Oddleaf tells you, and nobody has food, they won't part with it for a fair price, and medicine's been gone for days. They're either gouging the prices or it's just plain gone. She doesn't say it, but you can tell this is going to be a serious problem. 
<laughs> we don't have any food. We can't ration tighter. We'll track down the ravens and see what they know. You find the massive leader of the ravens along the docks, where they're doing their best to keep a growing number of people in check while the boats are being constructed. You question him about food supplies. Should have brought your own, he says. I can't go giving it out to every person in Bosgard. I'd kill every last one in the city for some good meat, though. This place has been dry for weeks. Ooh, we can make a deal. Offer him. Because we'll, that's not useful. We'll offer him the meat. We picked up in Reinevik. Let me get this straight. You happen to come through Reinevik with Sigbjorn in tow and plenty of mead to go around. Is that right? You hesitate a little too long. I'll murder that motherless ox, growls Bolvik. As he learns to leave as he turns to leave, he grumbles. Bring the barrels and we'll make a trade. The caravan protests when you tell them the deal you made, but when you return with more supplies than you expected, the complaints vanished. Twelve days. Oh, game, I love you. I'm sorry if I've got Sigbjorn killed, but yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, we've got three Val left. Oh. This is bad, says Ivind, as Ivor points out across the battlefield. Aside from the fact that we're up to our necks in dredge, a stone singer showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't we deal with it, this war will come down by the end of the day. Dad, there's a ride at the dock. Oh, thanks, game. I love you too. Alette runs up to, the, to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. Right. Well, I'm not just going to go, oh, I need a rest. And we can't find a safe place for the caravan to stay. We need the we need the boats. Ah, like, uh, can we hold out long enough? C yeah, I mean, that's the issue. Can we hold out lo the walls, hold the walls long enough to be able to remake the boats? Thing is, it, we could, we might lose either or Ivan or Avind as well. The Ravens are making a thing like, oh, they can do it, but they did send a let. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, join Ivor, investigate the riots. Right, if we investigate the riots. Then we I mean we're probably gonna lose all these guys anyway, thinking about it. Cause we need we'll need The Raven should be able to handle the dot the riots. And they've been handling him so far, so we'll help defend the wall. That, that stone singer is going to wreak havoc on us if we don't take care of it. This will be a rough fight, but we've got to take it down. Are you ready? No, not really. Right, who else do we add? Do we have another melee guy, or do we add a let as our other oh, nid? Right, what, your, oh no. Not helpful. Nid six seven seven one seven seven six one slightly better. Your ability is no. Your ability is the is that is the oh you've got a, you've got a better ability. Eagle's a bit bland with his abilities. Very much defensive, isn't it? It's the stone wall and shield wall next to him. We'll take a let, I think. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Right. We need to kill this stone singer, dude. So I'm going to put these guys, my pure archers, back here. I'll put Rook to the side there. This up. Do as much damage as you can. Don't see the point in using willpower because it wouldn't kill him anyway. I need to mess. I need to take you out. Okay, what is he doing? Uh, wounded allies explode. Oh, that. 
neither of those sound particularly good. So if I target him, I can hit those and blast with Arc Lightning. So we will. We'll, we'll, we'll use Arc Lightning, I think. Do as much damage as possible. Ah, I forgot about Ivor, so it's probably best I did do that that way. Thank you for pushing me away from injured people. That will explode here. That's the problem, is Gunolf is going to be next to someone who can do serious damage to him. Because they'll explode. If I do that, I can at least do half damage. Oh, bummy ones. Right. I can kill this guy. Again, I'm not sure how useful that would be. And I don't want to use the Mark Prey. So what do they do? Is it to adjacent units? Okay, so actually if I, exp if I blow other people up, they might actually hurt each other. Possibly. If they're next to if they're next to allies. They're injured. Can I target this guy? No. I'm trying to find sensible places that make sense to do damage. I don't want to just blast these guys. Well, I can do one damage to this guy. Oh, I can. Oh no. Ah. Should have targeted. I should be targeting armor, shouldn't I? That's why this is a waste. I should have gone for one and gone over this way and targeted these guys for armor. Oh well. Let. Uh, damage this guy's armor. Sounds like a plan. That'll be this guy next. Oh, thank you. Exactly what I wanted you to do. So. I can't do anything ranged. These guys are going to explode. He's going to explode. Unless I kill him. Or I can pull back and let you guys blow up. And I should have moved one further away because of this. Well, actually, I could kill these three. Without having to worry about anything. Oh, no. oh no, I can't kill all of them. It'll be four, five, six. So I can kill this one. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that. But I can't do any ranged damage. And there aren't enough people adjacent. Ah! But yeah, we'll, we'll still blast them for full. Oh, it was the other one. Oh, oops. Good thing I damaged this guy for armor then. Stop you summoning people. This is Rook. Going there. If I don't move, I can kill him. If I move there, I can mark him for prey, meaning my two archers get shots at him. Uh, which might kill him, possibly. No, it won't. It'll just might do two damage at best. But yes, he died. Thank you. Oops. So did Ivor. Not part of the plan. Hmm. This is getting problematic. I fear. Yeah, I was hoping for a rupture, but I didn't get rupture. I got the other one. The super friendly super boost thing. Blown only do the three damage. Eventually, at some point, I'm going to have to target this guy. Hmm. If I no, no, no. If I do arc lightning on this... Or arc lightning. This one... That'll do damage to these guy. Yeah, it won't. Ki it won't kill these two, but it'll kill that guy. Hmm. 
Now you're doing one of your other abilities, but I don't know which one. It's always the frustrating part of that. You're dead. Uh, going off is just awesome. So if I run to there... I can't attack him, but I can finish you off. This is probably a terrible idea of just leaving this one guy on his own. So run to there, use a... So... You've got willpower coming in. Run. Damage his armor as much as possible. Because Gunolf of... Gunolf of... Oh no, Gunolf of... That's not enough damage for Gunolf to kill. But... If I... Mend. I mend armor. So I can mend... Can I? Yeah, it's not going to do a huge amount. Could Art Lightning fall? Oops. Or not. Fair bit of range damage. Yeah, range damage. No, not Gunnolf not running, he's slowly walking up. No, no, no. Oh, no, I can't mock prey, but I can dent your armor a lot more, make things easier for Gunnolf when he kills you. Uh oh. Oh, no, I should have mended! Oops. Hmm. I've been smash! No, I didn't need Gunnolf. He says, I think Gunnolf took out these two, didn't he? <laughs> Did like one blow, you're dead. Well, that guy took two, I think, actually. Yeah, we took out the uh, spell singer. Stone singer. Yeah, they're getting horrifically close and numerous, and there's a lot more stone singers around. Right, market. What's in the market that's worth. Buying. Draw aggro, will per turn, extra strength, but. Come on, Ivor. This morning, I saw him. Bala was here. I think it won't be long now. Ivan leans silently on his staff nearby. One of your clansmen comes to you out of breath. Rook, things are real bad. Look, there's nothing you can do at this point, but a lot of the caravan have been robbed, killed, just disappeared. Those of us left are going to split up and hide where we can. Wanted you to know, in case you somehow pull through this. He runs off, clearly distressed. You grimace, wondering if this could have played out another way. So, if we'd hidden them, that wouldn't have happened. You consider what you'd do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Um, we can join either. Bella was here, but we've got to investigate the riots.